Hi everyone, welcome to Every Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. My name is D, and today we are revisiting the bridge of the Starship USS Voyager. Why are we looking at the Voyager again when we just looked at it like last week? And the reason is because the new version of it has just come out, and it is roughly 100 times cooler than the old version. Believe me, you will understand when you see it. Um, last time that we looked at Voyager, we... Um, my frame rate was suffering a little bit. I was doing about 40 to 50 frames a second. This time I've adjusted my settings. I got a solid 60 frames a second at, um, at 1440p. And if you go in the description, you can actually download a 60 frames per second version of this video and actually see me playing in the same 60 frames a second that I'm seeing inside the Rift. Although of course I'm not seeing it in 1440p like you guys are. Um, so this is a new version that's just come out. Um, it's version 0 0.3 and it's got, um, well, I, I don't want to spoil anything, but you're about to see some awesome new features in this that will blow your mind. Let's just jump into the bridge and I will show you. All right, here we are in the lift, just entering the bridge of the USS Voyager, just like we were last time. You can see right away my frame rate is quite good, especially if you're watching the 60 FPS version. I can bring up my stat FPS. You can actually see I have a solid 60 frame rate when I look all around here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. I can't quite read the frame counter inside here. That's fine. That's just what I'm doing. Ah! You might be wondering why that happened. Um, it, I'll explain in a second. So first of all, I can have, um, I've turned up my settings to just the right level where I can still get 60 frames a second. And as you can see, I can still make out quite a lot of detail on all these panels. I can still read everything really clearly, even when I'm getting this smooth, smooth motion. And it's really, really nice. So yeah, UE4's performance problems have been greatly exaggerated, I think, because this, this is pretty damn good. Um, without further ado, so last time I showed you that we could walk to certain places and hear audio clips from, uh, from Star Trek Voyager. And th those were like little hidden Easter eggs. But what I want to show you now, so first of all, to get the little things out of the way, I can go up to the captain's chair and I can sit down. I am sitting in the chair. I can just put my arms on my armrest. And I can imagine that I've got like my, my commander over there and my staff. <laughs> seated all around me and now here comes the fun part I'm gonna go sit in that chair up front Captain, I don't think we're now alone. watch this Mr. on Tuba, screen run a lateral now you're wondering what I'm looking at I am currently playing encounter at Farpoint the premiere of Star Trek the next generation on my view screen in real time because, uh, via my Netflix subscription. This is, um, I have the audio disabled just so that it doesn't, because otherwise it would be playing throughout this whole video and that would be annoying. But I could turn on the audio, I could sit here and watch it as it plays on the screen with full audio and be on the deck of the Voyager as I'm watching TNG, just like that. And this is super, super cool. And I can get as far or as close to the screen as I want. I can walk right up here. I could be like, yo Picard, I am I am looking at your nose. I am looking directly at your nose. You can start to make out the individual pixels here. This was uh, not, this show was not filmed in HD or I don't know, maybe it just wasn't broadcast. I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, stuff's going on in the show off screen. And you can tell it has voice commands. I am not pressing any key when that happens. I am not pretending. It really recognized that I said that command. And I can say a lot of other commands, like fire torpedo, fire everything, fire everything. Okay, that command was supposed to work. It's a little bit unreliable. Fire photon torpedoes. There we go. So I could just sit here in my captain's chair and I could be like, I could be like, that ship is a threat to us. Fire torpedoes. Oops. I didn't do that quite right. I accidentally said screen on. Off screen. Off screen. Thank you. 
So I really love these voice commands. They fit really naturally in this setting. And there's even more of them. Check this out, check this out. Computer, what is the mass of the Earth? 5.972198 times 1024 kg kilograms. It just told me what the mass of the Earth is in, in kilograms. Using scientific notation, of course. Hmm, what else can I ask it? Computer, who is Picard? I don't think that worked. Computer, who is Picard? Oh, come on. Computer, who is Picard? Computer, who is Picard? Okay. Determiner indicates some objects, occurrences, or persons that are at this a, is a little bit random. the speaker in space or time. Unknown. So, as you can see, um, as you say words, the words pop up on this screen. It's doing real-time dictation which is really cool. You can imagine all the possibilities you could do with this for NPCs. You can see your microphone level right there. And it is, it is just understanding everything I say as I say it. And this is, I, I really like this. Let's see if we can ask it some more questions. We're here at the command console, or what, what console is this? Operations, operations console. I suppose they also manage the computer's voice functions. I don't know if that's actually a thing they do, but here it is. Um, uh, computer, what is laughter? Computer, what is laughter? One noun, the sound of laughing. Two noun, the activity of laughing, the manifestation of joy or mirth or scorn. Well, that was a uh, slightly redundant definition. Computer, what is the mass of a hydrogen atom? A 1.00794U, Unified Atomic Mass Units. This is so cool. Computer, who is James T. Kirk? James Tiberius Jim Kirk is a character in the Star Trek media franchise, appearing in numerous television episodes, films, books, comics, and video games. As the captain of the Starship USS Enterprise, Kirk leads his crew as they explore where no man has gone before. Kirk, played by William Shatner, first Computer, appears stop. in the broadcast pilot episode of Star Trek, Computer, the stop. original series. There we go. So I can stop it in the middle by saying computer stop. That works. And and it's just so I can ask it like almost any question. I believe it's using an internet database to find the solutions. I don't know what database it's actually using, but that's why there's a slight pause before it responds. And um, on screen, <coughs> looks like Worf is doing some navigating. There's Deanna Troy. And it has a little trouble with like some of the f super famous people. It'll recognize you saying their names, or if they have like a normal like western name it usually does a pretty good job understanding it but if I ask it like who is Jean-Luc Picard then it usually won't understand what the hell I'm saying so you you have to um, you, you have to sometimes try a few different things to get it to work um, but still it's like it's a, 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 a leaps and bounds above anything that's come before it really adds to the setting and it it opens so many possibilities for what voice interface could look like in future video games and and future just like interfaces and environments like this like like it's just so convenient to not have to reach around blindly trying to find your keys or your mouse and to just like like if you're watching a movie in a virtual theater and you want to stop the film you can just shout out sh you can shout out play or pause or you can tell it what scene you want to jump to or you could have like a music player as you're walking around inside a game, you could have your music player integrated into it, and you could just ask it for what song you want to hear, and it starts playing it for you as you're, as you're playing the game. That would be really cool. There's just so many cool things you can do in here with this kind of voice technology. And, and I'm, I'm so excited. Like People have been talking about doing something like this, but this is the first time someone's really executed on it in a way that, while not being like flawless and, and really like 
like I mean I could I can point out flaws with the recognition quality I can point out flaws with how it describes uh, Star Trek characters in a in a real life uh, frame of reference rather than from an in universe frame of reference um, but all of this pales in beside just like the fact that they've gotten this integrated and gotten it working in this environment in a way that feels so perfect in this environment. I, for somehow, some reason it keeps thinking I'm saying fire photon torpedoes. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this is super cool. I really like this. And everybody, like this is now like a demo that everybody has to try because this has just become the, the demonstration, tech demonstration for UE4, for voice recognition in VR, for creating for creating environments from shows and then watching those shows inside the shows it's it's a it's incredible it is a tour de force of VR innovation and i am really excited that uh, that th that this is being worked on i hope to see more great things from this developer anyway that's all for today everybody go try this demo right now i don't care if you well you better have a rift but um, it's it's not that cool without a rift it's still pretty cool though as long as you have a microphone you do need a microphone to make this as cool as it can possibly be. Anyway, that's all for today. And everybody have a great every day. James Tiberius Jim Kirk is a character in the Star Trek media franchise, appearing in numerous television episodes, films, books, comics, and video games. As the captain of the Starship USS.